What do suggest? Eight and five. Five, but I think we can do six. And no, I'm sorry. It suggested uh five and nine, but I think we can do six and eight. We got a lot of uh, double red spells that we need to take care of. So here I'm looking at my black and I'm kind of sorting out the playables. We got three so far, four, five, really good Vampire Nighthawk. Uh, six, that's an okay playable. You can add in one Vampire not, uh, Bite for now, so seven. And I need to find it. Where is it? I'm missing out on the uh, Crypt Reaper. I don't see it yet. But I will. Don't worry. Don't worry. I will see the Crypt Reaper. Do not think that I'm thinking that the, uh, the Landfall Artifact guy is a playable. I'm just looking at my artifacts. I forgot his name. Here we're looking at the white playables. Um, and really white wasn't an option for this for this draft. It just wasn't good enough to get there. And there's Crip Reaper. Oh, look at me go. Bog Tatters is not that efficient. It's a 4-2 for 5. And if they're playing Swamps, yeah, that's, that's fine. Because it's guaranteed 4 damage. And with, you know, uh, Gruel... Spectre is good too, um, but when you have like adventuring gear, or trusty machete, it, it gets even better. Trusty machete, that is a very good card. I'm very sad that I didn't get any of those. So I'm looking at this right now, and I'm just thinking, is this good enough? I don't think this is good enough. I'm counting the reds, and I believe it's this exact same amount. I mean, I'm looking at the the good playable reds here that I just want to play. Um, it's just kind of more removal, which is fine. And then I realize, oh god, I'm playing Demolish as in the main. That's terrible, I think. I, I don't think that's good at all. So I just kind of move everything over here. And then I look at the Hellhound Mongrel, two of those. I think three, four, two, two. Where I can have three for a flying death touch life link. Uh yeah, I'm gonna play black. I really think that black will get us there a lot a lot better than uh red would have. I mean, we got a little bit of removal, but not as much as the red. But I think the black will be you have more to deal with. Um, the opponent will have more to deal with, and will be more a little more consistent than dealing with just a bunch of two twos. You know, it would be good for the early game, which the red was kind of more towards the late game. I really kind of undervalued Vampire Bite. Uh, I think two is actually good. A card can be pretty good kicked. Um, never underestimate the value, especially in green, because green usually has a lot of fatties. So giving a big green creature life link in plus three plus zero, that can be a big change, especially if that gets in there uh, for damage. Maybe like a an eighteen point life swing, possibly that will maybe win you win you a game. So we're adding our playables, and we got 17 creatures, which is fairly good. I'm really happy with running these 17 creatures, because most of them are good. Uh, the crocodile is subpar, I think. Um, it's not one of the best, but it's, it's a solid card. It can get in there. So we're seeing what Moto suggests, and I think I need more swamps because of all the... Uh, Swamps that I need for turn one, turn two, turn three. The only uh, green I need is turn three, possibly turn two. 
or the niece is chosen, but I'm most likely going to start off with Swamp anyway, so probably not going to turn to niece is chosen ever. And then we get the green for the late game with our Bela, the beast. He is such a beating. Seriously, if you open Rampage and Bailoffs, <laughs> go green. Simple as that. And get Haro's. Never get Haro in draft. Or is sealed. I'm thinking this is looking pretty good. So we'll finish out the lands because we only have 16. I think uh, 17 is fine in this deck. It's got a fairly kind of high curve. It's got the two uh, six drops and the five drops. And really the Mold Shambler is a six drop. If you think of it that way, you know. And it would be fine uh, to draw a land late game if I have like uh, either one of my bail offs out. So 17 lands I'm fine with here. I don't believe that 17 is the um, is the the staple amount right now though because it's just it's I would rather draw spells late game than lands. So, it all, it's all dependent on your decks. I'm just kind of looking over the deck right now. And I think it looks pretty good. Uh, tell me what you would have done different, if anything. And we'll go ahead and uh, start round one. <laughs> 